So you're looking to get to 365 Light fast. Well, here's a guide on how to do that. Hello, what's going on Guardians? My name is Erupt and welcome back to another Destiny video. Now in today's video, I'm going to be helping you guys get to 365 light or even above. Now this will be the collection of the quickest methods to do it and also in the shortest time. These have been proven to work a lot unless you get the glitch that doesn't allow you to progress past a certain light level. It does happen to some people, but it does eventually wear off. So this got me to 365 pretty fast following this schedule that I set myself and I've done that on two characters now. On PSN, I've actually got to about 376 so it does work pretty quickly once you start taking into account all of these tips so we're going to start off with mainly the new thing that happened in destiny rise of iron the archons forge now you may think i'm just going to tell you to play this but there are specific ways to increase the loot that you get from this in a very quick manner so what you're either going to have to do is go on LFG or go in the patrol of the Plaguelands and just find random groups of people. Now you can find them right outside the door of the Archon's Forge or you could just go and find them randomly in the Plaguelands and invite them to your fire team. So once you've done this, make sure you're actually grouping up with a bunch of people that have Siva offerings. Now these are going to come in three rarities. You're going to have few Siva offering which is green and you're going to have mediocre bosses. You're going to have enhanced Siva offerings which are the blue ones and they're kind of okay. They can drop legendaries and at a good rate. And then you also get the perfected Seaver offerings. Now, these are the main men. These are the things that you want. These are the legendary offerings. Once you go in, you're going to come across some quite strong bosses. Now, these things are going to be the ones that drop the best loot. Mainly, use your exotic three of coins on these guys so that you can drop exotics and also use them to decrypt later on. But just by, in general, playing Arkham's Forge with a larger group of people, you're going to be going through it quicker. More engrams will actually drop, allowing you to be able to decrypt more in a massive success rate. Now, blues do actually go up to 365, so once you pick up these engrams, go back to the tower after doing this for a while, and then make sure to get all of them decrypted, and hopefully boost your light level up. At the same time as completing these, I think blues and purple offerings do drop legendaries at a massive rate, and basically guaranteed. You can get some really sick loot in there and also some epic class items which are known to be quite hard to get at a nice light level. Now even if you get blue decryptions you can always infuse them with your legendary gear so it's always a good way to grow your light level. Remember as I said the bigger the group the quicker you'll get through these things the more engrams that you will get for your team. So next off let's move to one of the things that would be obvious in this video is the strikes. Now a lot of people will just play strikes and complete bounties and yes that is a good way to get some engrams and also just rank up vanguards in general but there's a way of doing this much better. Once you've completed your book every odd number you will get a package which allows you to have boosters mainly for the vanguard and also for the crucible. Pop a vanguard booster on and it will only take you about 11 or 12 strikes. I say 11 because once you've got the vanguard streak on it does give you an increase increased amount of reputation and it speeds up this entire process a lot a lot more. After 6 strikes what I recommend doing is going back to the tower, decrypting all your gear at the highest light level you currently are to make sure that they go above your current light level. Okay, so basically the next method requires two different things to do with your strange coins. So if there is any videos that you guys specifically have watched on how to get quicker strange coins then do tell people in the comments down below. But for the sake of this video, I'm not going to get over that, but just make sure that you get loads of strange coins from just simply playing the game. Once you've got a massive stack of these, you're going to have to wait until Friday to go to Zer. Now Zer is going to be selling two different things that will come in handy. He's going to be selling heavy ammo synthesis, and he's also going to be selling some three of coins. First of all, let's cover heavy ammo synthesis. Basically, you need a hundred of these to rank up your faction, so that shouldn't take that many strange coins, as it is one strange coin for three heavy ammo synths. After you've done this, you will have the option to get armor, chroma, or also weapons. Now, these will come one or two light levels above whatever your gear is at the current time, or sometimes they even come at the same level that you are. That is quite unfortunate, but a lot of the time, you will manage to get higher level gear. So that is a great way of using your heavy ammo synths, no matter what time you have them. Now the next option is to buy 3 of coins, now this requires a little bit more strange coins as it is 7 strange coins for a pack of 5 3 of coins. 3 of coins give you a bigger chance of getting exotic engrams. Now I have done a guide on how to farm exotic engrams and it basically requires you turning the last campaign mission of Rise of Iron onto hard, killing 2 bosses out of the 3, jumping off the map and resetting that process. That's a really good way to stack up your exotics and then you can also do it just by playing crucible games or even just strikes in general. So once you've done that, make sure that you have completed the campaign 
campaign. Of course, to do that farm, you would have completed the campaign, and even so, go as far as doing the campaign on hard before you open up these engrams. Once you've stacked up a ton of engrams, maybe about 10 or 20, then go ahead and open them up, making sure that you've got an engram for at least every slot, just so everything gets a light boost. Once you've got all of these engrams, you're going to open them up, and make sure when you do open them up, you're at your top, top light level. Even if it's gear that you don't actually run or want to wear, make sure you're at your highest light level gear to get that character peak to the closest next light level. This is a really quick method of farming these light levels, and you will go up much, much quicker if you use it by opening exotic engrams. So make sure that you stick to these plans, guys, and you will be guaranteed to get 365 light in a quicker manner than just playing the game as a casual player. That's all for today, guys. Guardians, if you did enjoy today's video, then please be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, share this on social media for more Destiny tips, tricks, news, and updates in the community. My name's been Erupt, and have a great day.